Welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to bring in a few different file types. We're going to be working with music, pictures, and video. So I have here just some music open up on my computer. I'm going to left click and drag and drop these in here each. I also have some pictures, so I'll just drag and drop uh, this picture in here. I've got a few of them. And then I'm going to get some video as well. So we'll grab some video here, and uh, we'll have some video to work with. So now we've got five files. Um, if we just hover over any any of them, they'll appear in this viewer window, and it has scrubbing enabled too, which means it'll just play. As we hover over the video, it will play here in the viewer window. But as soon as we move away, it disappears and goes black again. If we want it to that video to stay in there, we just double click on it, and it will now stay in here. We can hit play. We can hit pause. We, if we want the picture to be here, we double click it and it'll stay there. So double clicking makes the part stay, makes whatever you're working with stay in the viewer window. But again, nothing yet is in our timeline or project. And if you want to tell what you're working with, like if we drag this down to the timeline, we can see it now is in our timeline. And now it's matching on both sides. But if you want to see what you're actually looking at, at the top of these viewer windows, it shows us this is looking at the uh, renfishing.jpg. And this is actually looking at timeline one. So even though they look kind of the same, this one is showing us what's happening in our timeline. This one's showing us what's happening, well, what file we're looking at. So we can change this one if we double click over here to this wave file. It shows us the waveform. We can hit play. So we can listen to this audio. But if we come over here and play the timeline, it plays a timeline without music. If we want the music to be part of that, we can just left click this audio and come down here to the audio track. So we see this is a good time to talk about maybe some of these tracks. We have V1 and it's called Video 1, it's a video track. And we have A1 and it's an audio track. So now we have a video and audio track here and we can see the audio tracks much longer than the video track. Uh, and the video track is actually just a, a still shot of a picture. So even though it says video, it really has picture on it. And we can have multiple tracks too. So maybe we want this to be on the second track. If we just left click and drag it up, it creates a second track. So we have video track two now, and video track one is empty. So maybe we wanna do this. I'm gonna click on this video. If I, if I wanna delete a clip in the track, I just left click on it and hit the backspace key to delete. You can hit the delete key too, but they do different types of delete, but I, I'm using the backspace key right now. And we're gonna drag this entire video into our media clip. Now, something happened because this, this video also has an audio track. It, uh, it put it over top of it, and I think since its video is longer, basically that audio track is just gone now. We overwrote that with our, because of the, the way it's set up. We have it set up to, if we bring in something over top of it, it'll just overwrite it. See, so now we're kind of overwriting this picture, and it just cut out this part of the video with this picture. So just be aware of that. Um, if we if we bring in this audio track and put it over top of this audio track, it just overwrites it. It does not mix them together. It just replaces the audio. Um, does that make sense? And so now we've replaced this part with this with this picture. And if we click and delete this picture, there's nothing here. It's like gone. It just ate up that piece of the video. So to get it back, we would have to either bring the video back in in its entirety, or we could do a couple things. Since we haven't moved anything around yet. We could just kind of do this and bring these parts back together, and that completes the video. Um, even where this playhead is, actually, now that this is the same video, we can go to um, Timeline and go to Join Clips, and it'll actually join it and fix it now and it's as if it was one piece. Um, that's a little bit more of a, an advanced thing, and that's something you probably won't do too often. But just be aware, if we drag a, a, another video over top of the same timeline, it will just eat into it and it'll actually split the video. So what I'll do a lot of times is bring it onto a separate track. So this way it's going to play. Right now we have the audio from this uh, this guitar music that's playing. We have the video from this clip here and we have a picture on the second video track. So if we click pl play, we should hear the guitar. We'll see this picture here for about four seconds and then it goes back to playing this video. And so that's something I want to um, kind of point out too. I touched on it a little bit in past videos. It works the same way as other video editors. Whatever the higher video track is, 
that one will be just displayed first. So if we grab this picture now and place it on video track three, and we can left click and shorten this, this picture, it's going to play this, and then it's gonna play whatever's on top. So these are actually really in the background, this is being played, uh, this picture here, but it's just playing whatever is on top. So we'll play, it jumps to this picture, jumps back to this picture, and then jumps to whatever's lower. So you can kind of imagine this playhead is looking down. From here it's just looking down and whatever it sees first is what has priority. Um, and so we'll use some effects and some things in the future. Matter It'll matter a lot what video track you're on. Also we can get another audio track if we want to. Um, let's, we have to resize a little bit. If we click here we can actually scale this up a little bit or resize this. And now we can grab another audio track because maybe we don't want that. Maybe we want to select this track and hit the delete key and delete the audio track. And we want to get the uh, the audio from here. So we can actually bring this in. Oh, let's go back here. Well, let's just delete that. Let's bring this in back originally how it was with the audio track. Oh, that's our timeline video, sorry. So our timeline also appears, what, what we're working with also appears as a video in our source file, in our project pool. So just be aware of that. I was trying to grab the wrong file, which is why I couldn't do it. This is the video I was trying to grab. So let's put that in. And now we have our video with the original audio. And if we want to have the music playing in the background of our original audio, we can drag that onto a separate track as well. Now we have a second audio track and a first audio track and three video tracks, even though two of the video tracks are playing pictures. Does that make sense? You can also rename these. So if I wanted to come down here and click on audio two and call it music and then audio one, I can, I can keep that the same, but then call this one pictures one and pictures two. So you can kind of change things that way as well. Uh, something else you can do. So if we want to just have something be ignored, like if we play this right now, I think it'll be a little bit loud. Let me turn the volume down. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a 10 terabyte Western Digital Red Drive. So it's the white label, but it's a red. So this is playing all kinds of stuff. We have music in the background. We have my commentary, the video, the pictures. If we want to maybe um, see what it's what it's like uh, without the pictures, we can click up here, uh, this little icon, and it it kind of mutes these pictures. So now it's just going to play the video. It's just going to look through. Oh, good. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you how to get... And see, the pictures aren't being displayed because they're muted. And so we can do the same thing. We can mute audio, too. We select the M. It's a little bit different on the audio tracks. And now we just hear the guitar. And we just see the video. So that's how you mute toggle muting and unmuting tracks. If you hit the S, it'll just solo and just play just that one without the guitar. video, I'm going to show you how to get a... So that's some different ways to toggle that. If we want to copy, we can right click on any clip and go to copy and then go to another point and hit paste and that'll it'll paste it wherever our playhead is at. We can also copy audio that way, we can copy video, and then we can cut to if we want to uh, if we want to move we could left click and move this somewhere, we could also cut it. We can right click and go cut and then it'll we can right click and paste and it will paste that wherever it's at. Um, I think that's all the things I'm going to cover in this video. Well, before I end this video, I want to show you one more thing that I should have showed at the beginning. And that is if you're working with lots of different media files like this, I mean, we don't have a lot here, but over here in this part that says master, we can right click and go new bin and we can actually create bins. So we can have one called music if we want and hit enter. And then all of our project pool goes away, but it's actually here under this master still. And we have a new folder called music. We can left click and drag and drop whatever we want into here. I can right click and go new bin and call it pics and then go back to master and we can move our pictures in. So this helps you kind of keep your files all organized within uh, DaVinci Resolve and it doesn't actually change where they're at on your computer at all. It doesn't affect that at all. It just, it's just for this one project. So if we go file, save project, the next time we open them up, they'll be organized just like this. It's a really good thing to do if you have lots of music that you use or pictures. And um, it's just a good way to keep those organized so you don't have to dig through if you have a picture that looks similar to uh, a video or something, you won't get confused that way. 
Well, I really hope you found this video informative. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, leave your questions, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.